So I'm going to show you guys how to save a figure using Python and using a CSV file. And so we're going to take data from a CSV file. We're going to plot it using matplotlib. And then we're going to save it as a PNG. So I'm going to open up this up. And looks like I already had this, the code in there. But um, so first thing we need is CSV. Then we need matplotlib. And then this is a backend so that it, it does it never opens up the file um, to show, which is probably important if you're if you want to use it like I want to do to just run in the background every day. And then alright, as PLT. Let's see if we can get out of there. Okay. So, those are all our packages. We're going to do with open. This is my personal CSV file of completely made up data. Um, you don't have, you obviously don't have to use CSV. You could just uh, put the data in yourself into the Python program or pull it from wherever else. But for this tutorial, I'm using a CSV. So, you need your data, you got to get your data in the right format. So, I'll just show you guys. So, I'm going to open the CSV in readable format, and I'm going to name it file F, and then I'm going to use the CSV package, and I want to read everything in as a list. So, if I go to my CSV, so these are like the previous. In, in my example, these are like the previous 10 days, just in number format. And then this is like a stock value in your portfolio or whatever. So now I'm going to go back. And so I can just print it just to show. Let me open up. A all right, so Python plot it dot pi. Okay, so it's working, bringing everything in as a list from my CSV. So one five sixty seven, and then so on. So I don't need that. So now I want to define my data that's going to be on my y-axis. So my y-axis is the actual portfolio values. So I'm going to do their index is 0 as you can see. So this would be 0, 1, 2. So we're going to start on the 0 for the y-axis. Oh, I'm sorry, for the x-axis. 0. So x axis is essentially time, b axis or y axis is your b column. That's going to be your actual values. So for i in sheet reader, I'm going to do the same thing for the y axis data. That should be a 0. For i in sheet reader. So now I can print those. I'll just print them right after one another. Okay, well, those are a little bit backwards, but let's make sure it's working. Okay, so now we've kind of parsed the data into two separate lists. So we got our first list is going to be our y axis data, which is the portfolio values, and then our x-axis is essentially just time, so I don't need those. Now, I want to give yeah, my plot a title. So it's going to be like portfolio changes over previous 10 days. And let's give the x-axis a label. 
give me day or time or whatever. And then the Y label. And you'd be like the portfolio or stock position. Or what it's worth that day. So now, let's see, we want to plot the X axis and the Y axis. Then we can just do show. Make sure everything's working. PLT not show. Oh uh, yes, because I'm using ag, it's not going to show. So let's just get to saving it. So pretty easy, save fig. I'm gonna put the directory. So forward slash users. And finally, what I want to save it as, so we can do figtest.png. So, yeah, there's my directory, and it should add a file once it's done running. And there we go, figtest.png. So there's our data taken from our CSV through our Python script, and then into a finished finished PNG file. Alright, thanks.